so hey guys uh, this is second video in which we are going to view other different set of questions where which you can prepare for your interview and those are very much important questions for which interviewers mostly asked in interview so like the first question is like about uh, how will you troubleshoot the ports in kubernetes which are not working so this is about or maybe they will ask you how you handle your uh, pods in Kubernetes cluster. Or maybe when you get some issue in the pod, how will you fix that? How will you debug that? Or how will you troubleshoot the uh, pods which are not working properly? So here I have listed few steps in which I have explained like how we can debug and how you can answer this question in interview. So you can tell like the first reason for the pod uh, if it is not working is like error in the configuration of your Kubernetes resources like deployment or services. Maybe some error you have uh, while writing the configuration file for the Kubernetes resources like deployment or services. Or maybe there is error in the code for which you are writing this uh, uh, configurations. So this is like basic error which happens and uh, we will be debugging the pods on very high level which is not required so we should start it from here itself okay so this is basic reason and after that uh let's after that we will go to commands which you can use to debug the pods so the first command is like to get pod and describe command so you can use get command to get all the pod details or uh, and then we can describe each pod and you can see the error it will be listed in one of the column when you list it or when you will describe it you will find that error what error is coming in that pod and based on that you can debug it so this is the first command which we can use it and second command is like log command uh, to get the log of the pod so for that we can use kubectl log po and pod name which will give you the log of that pod or maybe you can use kubectl uh, uh, po and pod name and hyphen f and previous or maybe a uh, kubectl get pod no code uh, fresh hyphen run type this all will give you the logs based on that you can debug uh, the pod after that the second the third command which you can use to debug the pod is like access by accessing that pod by using sh or uh, shla, uh, or like bash command in the pod so kubectl efcc hyphen it pod name slash main slash bash with this you can enter into that pod and after that, you can uh, uh, check the log inside that pod, why it is not working or, or all the configuration files are correct or all the configuration is correct. Or And then the fourth step of uh, what we can do is like we can check the cluster label, uh, cluster label events or cluster label pods. Uh, so for that, you can use uh, kubectl get event. You can uh, Google it about these commands and all, and you can get uh, gather more information about how we can use all these commands to uh, debug the pod. And few other things also I have uh, listed here. So this is directly from the documentation. All when you will list the pod or when you will describe the pod, you will get this kind of names. Like other than reason, maybe uh, your uh, one of the uh, uh, any one of the container is not able to retrieve the image from the container. Uh, maybe that is the name issue or name we have given uh, wrong or maybe that is authentication issue. So if this kind of issue comes, then you will get a uh, image full back of error, full back of error. Or uh, let's go to second error. The, and the second point is about a debug run container error or maybe create container config error pod. So this kind of error comes when we do not provide credential properly or may, uh, you, by using map or secrets, or maybe we are doing some mistakes in that. So whenever you we, we will do those kind of uh, mistakes, then this error comes. Now we, uh, we are going to third one, that is debug container creating pod. So uh, while mounting the volume, if we miss to specify the path of secrets properly, then this kind of error happens. Or maybe debug uh, pending POS is like, Maybe cluster is not having enough resources to uh, to give it to pod so that it can start, or maybe namespace is not correct. So uh, these kind of things, or maybe one more last is the debug crash loop back of error. Uh, so uh, pod liveness check has failed, or Docker image is faulty. So when this kind of error happens, then this kind of error comes. 
So these are like directly from the document. You can refer the document and you can gather more information about this. So this was a, our first question, like which uh, mostly interviewer asks from uh, a Kubernetes uh, part or Kubernetes tool. So and let's go to the second question. So the second question, what I have taken here is like about branching strategy. So this is also one of the most important and most asked question in interview. What is uh, what what branch in this strategy do you follow or your your organization follows, or how do you uh, handle code in your organization? So for all those questions, you can answer this uh, by explaining the branching strategy. So this strategy helps uh, developers to or DevOps engineer to solve the problem and work uh, together on or together on the same source of code without any hassle between each other without any problem between uh, each other. It, like actually the main thing is like it helps the flow of source code through uh, the branches. Normally in a company, we will be having these branches. Like almost all companies will be having minimum these branches. So in which the first branch will be the master branch and then comes dev, bra dev, bra dev branch, then feature, then release, and then hotfix branch. So the master branch will be having stable code, which will be the production code. Dev branch will be like will be having the same code, but there we will be having uh, we will be developing the things and we will be merging to dev branch, and that branch only we will be testing. So feature branch. Let's say uh, somebody told uh, someone customer or somebody told to create one feature. So from dev branch we will create one feature branch, and then we will create uh, the we will develop that feature on that feature branch and we will merge to uh, dev branch. And release branch is like this branch mostly it will be used to for testing. Like testing team team will be testing or uh, will be doing all the testing on this branch itself. So after merging to release branch from the dev branch, uh, DevOps team will be doing all the testing on this branch and they will figure out whether the code is working properly or not. Then the last branch is like hotfix branch. So this we will use when some bug comes in production branch mostly. Then we will be creating one uh, branch from the production branch and we will fix it and we will check it and we will merge it. So this is like basic and simple branching strategy, which normally uh, most of the company follows. So this we can explain it. Uh, so this was about the branching strategy. strategy. Now let's go to the third question. So in third question, uh, I'm going to explain one cell script, one simple cell script. So in that, what we have to do, we have to search one pattern from each line. And then if a pattern is twice in that line, we have to count only once. So this is the main thing of this question. So for that, I have written here while read line. So while reading all the lines one by one, do what we have to do. Echo dollar line, grep hyphen O. We are searching pattern J in the line. And then we have to short, short it. And then we are taking unique because from each line we have to count only once. So by using this, we can do that. And then we are uh, uh, like writing that thing into chat.txt file. And then we are counting that. So this is how you can write it. So you can write it and you can practice it. This is also one of the good questions in which we are using different commands like grab, sort, unique, cat count, and uh, uh, while while loop so this will help you to uh, like clear the concept this kind of uh, uh, things we write normally in companies so this will be helpful now coming to the fourth question so fourth question is about vpc flow log so normally uh, devops engineer will be running about the logs only whether it is a server log or uh, like infrastructure log because our work is to find why the, this thing is not working, like why server is not working or why this is not working, why networking, uh, some issues coming in networking from where the traffic is coming and from where traffic is going. So these all things we can find out using log. So normally company will be having a big infrastructure in, under which uh, our application will be running like Threat architecture. So Threat threat architecture will be set inside a VPC itself. So the main component is PPC. 
So let's say uh, if I want to know that from where traffic is coming from, for which source IP traffic is coming and for which source IP traffic is not coming. So for that reason, we can use a VPC flow log. So in that, how we can use that? There are lots of videos in the YouTube. I'm uh, especially working on the important question. So uh, uh, you can note down questions from here and you can search in Google and you can prepare for that question so that you can answer in interview. So in that part, we will do, we will create one law group. We will be using IAM role. So you can see like uh, with one concept, how many services we are using from AWS service. So one will be, we have to give a uh, watch law group, IAM role, law group in uh, CloudWatch. Uh, in, in, inside you, you can query and you can filter by using it uh, in that CloudWatch. So there is three services we are using here. One is, uh, uh, CloudWatch, then I am role, and then VPC. So in VPC itself, we'll be having uh, that, you can see this pick here. So this is the option for the flow log. From here only, we will create flow log. It will divert you to CloudWatch, and there you can go and you can create all the log groups and all. And from there itself, if you want, you can send that log to S3, or you can read uh, line by line the logs where you, it will show you one side, it will show you IP address, one side it will show from where it is coming and from where it is going to where it is going, okay? So guys, these are the four important questions for uh, for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you so much guys for watching this.